Ah, oh, come on! <clears throat> September 6, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. But I'll never know. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Of course I'm going to examine his... Dope ass expensive potted plant. <laughs> no idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Wow, he gets to drink in his office. A table for clients. Big man. Mm. An elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. I feel like that would be terrible. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. If you get the pun. <laughs> With that gold lighter, yes, correct. That Indiana Jones. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. That oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. That's how oil paintings work, isn't it? Expensive-looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive-looking books. Mahogany? Hmm, funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. How can you tell by looking at the spine? Because I'm a chiropractor. <laughs> no clues here. <laughs> I guess I didn't quite click on the right part of the <laughs> desk. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. And the, 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 that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if there's anything else back at the office. September 6th, Spain, the law offices. Offices filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is an active crime scene, pal. No trespassing. I'm sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Suede Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Detective Gum Tree. One of these things just doesn't belong. Um, Gumshoe. Wasn't it Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. I, I did. And don't go calling me Dick. That's for the ladies. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. Be, be right there. Uh, <coughs> you're her lawyer, right, pal? You got business here, you better do it quick. Ooh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Yay, another plant! Not expensive plant. <laughs> uh, Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordeline Stricta. Uh, is that you? I don't think so, because it doesn't say gumshoe on it. Okay. So maybe not. Borderline <laughs> strict the <up>, pal. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> the sky is blue and 
so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. These ones. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean. As always. Only thing it's missing is Mia. Oh. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. So naturally she hung it up. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Get out of here, Edward! God, Magnus! <laughs> There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. The scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these. Uh, about Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now don't look at me like that, pal. It's no use. You might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report. But that's all! Interesting. Death was instantaneous, meaning Mia didn't write Maya's name on that receipt. Mm. Mm. Something's afoot. Something is a hand. Not that um, foot. <laughs> it's not that foot. Nope. Um, about Maya. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the trial. I'm gonna wow. hang her good. Yeah. Sorry, pal. This is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Oh my god. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Oh, Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Uh, That's right, pal. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. Doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. He did wipe the floor with, uh... What's his Pain? Name? Yeah, with pain. It was pain! <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I can't ask him about her phone yet. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I can present him the note. That's what I can do. Think outside the box, Phoenix. Thought outside the present, okay. Thought about the gift instead. Exactly. Now present that is present. Hey, uh, I was wondering, did you see my face cell phone? Pronounce cell phone. Oh that? I have that. You think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh. He's on to me. Tell him straight. Tell him not so straight. If I tell him what I want it, there's no, uh, no way he'll give it to me. No. <laughs> Something the matter? Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Oh, no, it's just, uh, you know, detective. I was getting ready to read that line in the gumshoe voice. Keep it. Keep it. Just, uh, nope. I know nothing, pal. 
That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's uh, cell phone hopes. All little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. What the fuck? <laughs> She's 17, dude! Spiciest secrets. Okay. You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. What? There weren't any suspicious calls recorded or call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. And I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. Y'all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyery ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Did you, though? Yeah. The witness? No. Why are yeah, they... Yeah, Miss April May. <laughs> she win Miss June? <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well? And I know a lot about you her. You just told me her name, Miss May, huh? I'm sorry for the voice that I'm going to use for her. Oh, God. <laughs> So you've sent her home already, then? <laughs> you're trying your loyally tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. You're reading that. I'm just gonna take a look at this big old post. Oh goodness! A 20-year-old intoxicated guy assaulted me back when I was younger, like 16 or so. Used a sculpting knife off the desk in my defense. Found out four years later I was being charged with first-degree assault. I still question how it was twisted into that. When originally it was self-defense case located on my own property. The U.S. court system is um fun. It is indeed um fun. Wait, what? Yeah, because he mentioned earlier about um, it taking, yeah, two two days. This case went on for over eight years. Oh my god! And that god, must be dude. the details of the case, which is insane. Yeah. But I definitely can agree with that last sentiment because there are some ridiculous things like that that happen. I know people who they've had people break into their house, yep, fall and get hurt. And be able to sue the homeowner because of their injuries. Yep. Justice. Or like when rapists get away with it. Not forget about that. Yep. How often does that crap happen? Okay, already examined. All right, it's time to move. Hotel. I mean, have I have I missed the uh, visiting hours at this point? No, no. The detention center. No, no. Obviously, I I that's. I know that's <laughs> obviously the last place that I need to go back to right now. 